flooding creates a water emergency of a different sort in one small southern Indiana community. Uh, residents in the small town of Alfordsville in southeastern Davies County have been without drinking water now for a week. The community was left high and dry when floodwaters wiped out its water supply. News 10's Mike Grant reports on how folks are coping and what's being done to solve the problem. The East Fork of the White River is well over the Portersville Road. Flooding here has produced more than a closed road for travelers. It also wiped out the main water line for the small town of Alfordsville nearby. It's an inconvenience for everybody not to have water available when you turn the tap. But whenever the pipe goes dry, it's a different story. The town has brought truckloads of water in and had it pumped into its standpipe. But even though there is a supply, it is not drinkable. Area businesses have donated pallets of bottled water that are being distributed to residents for drinking. With the water line break being somewhere out here in the floodwaters of the East Fork of the White River, it's going to be a while before Alfordsville can come up with a permanent fix to their problem. But they are working on a temporary solution. The town's working on a plan to run about two miles of pipe connecting its water system with another one along US 231 in Martin County. Right now, no one knows the cost of the repairs and fixes, but the town should qualify for help. Along with their dollar losses, Davis County is now qualified for FEMA uh, consideration for funding. But in the meantime, folks here will just have to deal with a shortage of water caused by flooding. In Alfordsville, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Even when the temporary line is built, officials say people will need to continue boiling their water until the state declares it safe for drinking.